Greetings, I'm S.T. Van Aersdale, editor of TheReeler.com, and you're watching Reeler TV from the 2007 Tribeca Film Festival. Today we talk with Mark Klein, the writer-director of Suburban Girl, which is having its world premiere this year at Tribeca. Suburban Girl is an adaptation of the bestseller A Girl's Guide to Hunting and Fishing, and it stars Sarah Michelle Gellar and Alec Baldwin in the story of a young New Jersey woman who strikes off to the big city to find a career and fortune. We're here with Mark Klein, the director of Suburban Girl, which is premiering at Tribeca. How are you doing, Mark? I'm nervous. Are you nervous? Yeah. Really? Tell us why. Well, you know, it's my first film that I've directed. I've written films before that have been made, but it's a completely different experience having directed it. You know, as a writer, you know, the hard part of being a writer in Hollywood is that you're kind of invisible. But in situations like this, that's the best part about being a writer is that you're invisible and you can kind of sneak into the background. But as a director, you know, you have to do things like this and come out and support the film and do things that, uh, you know, from a publicity standpoint that you would not normally have to do as a writer. So it's, ner it's nerve wracking. Let's talk about your actors in this film, Sarah Michelle Gellar and Alec Baldwin in particular. Um, both a couple of uh, tremendous talents, and, and you're, you're kind of working this anticipated novel with these actors. What is this challenge like, and how did you work with them on this project? Well, it was very daunting. You know, it was already daunting because I was a first time director. Um, so there are a lot, of, a lot of things that you just don't know. Um, and you're warned and told by many people, don't say you don't know these things. You know, you have to sort of fake your way through it. Um, I actually took a different tact because I felt like, you know, Sarah actually has been in the business since she's about four or five years old. Alex's been in the business, you know, 20 some odd years. And I felt like there was no fooling them. So I actually took the exact opposite tact when I met with the both of them. Um, you know, we had a lunch together and I got there early and I actually positioned my seat so I could watch the two of them across from each other because I felt like the chemistry would be so important to watch, to see how they responded to each other. They were adorable together. But what I, what I said to them to sort of ameliorate that entire issue was, listen, I'm not going to pretend that I know everything because I don't. I certainly don't know more than you guys. Um, what I do know is the material because I wrote it. Um, it came from my heart. And that's what I bring is my passion and my understanding of the material. And I felt very fortunate that that seemed to be enough for them. What exactly is going through your head right now with the premiere coming up tonight and uh, everyone anticipating this? Well, I think obviously if you're honest with yourself, the first thing that you want is you want to feel like everybody likes it. You know, you work incredibly hard. Um, you know, again, as a writer, you sort of write the thing and it goes off to other people and you kind of get show up, you know, you're invited to the premiere and you see it. And as the director, you're involved in every decision from soup to nuts, you know, from the casting, you know, every shot that I look at, I go... I chose the color of the paint in the background on that. You know, was that the right color? You're always questioning, should it have been a deeper shade of purple, you know? So, uh, you know, first I think and foremost, you want to know that you did a good job. You know, and then there's the other part of you that wants to sort of feel like, you know, you were entrusted by a lot of people. You have the actors who are trusting you. You have the financiers who've trusted you with their money. You want to feel like um, you've earned their trust, that you did a good job. So I think that for sure is absolutely going through my mind is just, hoping people like the movie and enjoy it and again going back to what you said earlier hoping that the people who read the book at least uh, have some that there was something that resonated for them something that they enjoyed about the book repeated and resonated for them in the movie all right well thank you to Mark Klein for being with us and remember you can discuss Suburban Girl and all of Tribeca 2007's titles at spout.com also, check thereeler.com for comprehensive news, notes, gossip, happening, updates, everything from Tribeca. I'm S.T. Van Aristale. Thank you very much for joining us on Reeler TV.